Hey comic fans, this is Peter Palmiotti and this is day 39 of me working each day 30 minutes on comic work <laughs> or something uh, related, similar. Uh, doing some promotional stuff for Bright Eyes and uh, also considering Neon Eden. Uh, we'll be getting back to comic production well, it's this is Thursday's episode. Uh, if not the weekend, then Monday. Uh, being distracted by uh, mishap with Patreon, and um, currently I live in a sort of community out in small town of Cam, uh, small town of Kentucky called Campbellsville. Um, Anyway, they're currently working on roofs, and I work. I live in a like house that's attached to another house, and another house on the left, and another house on the right, and they're doing all the roofs over. Uh, so the day is real fun with lots of bang. So going a little bit out of my mind. They'll be finished with ours tomorrow. Uh, I'm up late. I'll probably sleep late. And they start early. <laughs> so sleep hasn't been good. Uh, but it'll be over soon enough. Uh, what else is uh, new and different? Um... Oh, I uh, posted uh, that I have bright eyes on Tapastic. I mentioned it in a in a hangout, um, but I'll put the link. And there's only uh, two pages up, but I'll, I'll I'll post them up there as well as post them up on Comic Fury. If you're Comic Fury, you'll see them first. Um, you'll see. Uh, thumbnails and previews on Patreon. I'll put that link, all those links, in uh, the description below. So um, I'll say this up front rather than at the end. Thanks for everybody who likes, uh, who comments. Uh, if you're subscribed, if not, please do. Uh, I know um, I have some interaction and that's awesome I want more so please comment uh, if you have any suggestions or um, questions or comments uh, to what I'm talking about then put it below uh, this episode is about Jim Stranko, and I have a little story, Jim Stranko story. I've told it elsewhere, but I just felt I wanted to tell it here. Um, you know, I mentioned patron, and one of my patrons is a woman by the name of Lisa Butts. That's actually not her real name, that's her online name uh, she chooses to go by. And, um, she told me a little story which I'll tell first and she was at a convention recently and she met uh, Jim Stranko and they were both talking about uh, social media I, I think yesterday I said social networks or networking but social media uh, and, and how fantastic it can be uh, and uh, brought up my name and told uh, Jim about uh, our little 100 days of making comics, which I, I thought was so awesome. Um, you know, he, he's you know he's a legend, Jim Stranko. I'm not going to do him any justice. Go look up uh, his wiki. He's uh, probably most um, 
flamboyant on Twitter. I haven't looked at it in a while, but um, he writes stories or I think it's he writes stories on, on his Twitter, uh, which tons of people follow. Um, you know, he's probably only um, drawn like 30 comics, but he, he's a, a comic book legend. Um, you know, he he just does fantastic art. Um, he does paintings as well. He did delved into some creative owned uh, work way back when. Um, Chandler was a phenomenal, phenomenal book. If you get ever get a chance to pick it up, I think it's been revised uh, with new edition. May still be years ago, but if you can find a copy, eBay, look for it. Um, it's essentially um, it was penciled and then colored, uh, but it's so tight um, that you know it's 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 a detective noir, um, and the art so fits that, and it's his style to the max. Um, and it's a little adult, it has some nudity, uh, but it's fantastic, fantastic book. Um, I used to have it as part of my collection. I think uh, Joe Casada stole my copy. I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, somebody, I might have given it away. Um, but uh, phenomenal artist. You can just Google him and, and drool over his uh, work. Um, he does awesome superhero stuff. Uh, he does a lot of realistic work uh, and paintings. He he did a lot of paintings for uh, in the first Indiana Jones, um, which they use shot for shot uh, in the movie. Um, and he did shadow painting covers of the books years and years and years ago um, but he you know so he did some comic work I mean originally he was sort of a uh, Houdini magician kind of guy and um, after comics he self-published his own magazine um, premiere um not the comic diamond distributor. Uh, it was a slightly different name. I forget exactly. Um, but it was huge. It was huge magazine. Uh, had articles and comics. It had articles and interviews with movies. I think there was even an issue where he showed his uh, Indiana Jones paintings. Uh, picked those up. You know, it's everything's dated, but um, it was such a fantastic magazine, and he's so everything to down to the last detail. His designs are phenomenal. It's it's straightforward, but not. It's um, really good stuff. Um, anyway, <laughs> I am going on about him. Uh, so I thought it was really neat that Lisa uh, mentioned uh, 100 Days, and, and and this is our way of using social media to talk about our process, to talk about our work, to show off our work, um, and we're able to, you know, post it to Facebook and Twitter and uh, G plus and wherever else I, I throw episodes up on LinkedIn. Um, there's groups and communities and whatnot, um, on Facebook and G plus, uh, you know, I, I try to spur it around. Um, I don't have, you know, a lot of viewers, um, as as many as some of the other guys um, doing a thing, um, you know. But I'm 
I'm working with what I got and and um, you know <laughs> I realize most of these I'm ha half dead asleep and and uh, you know I want to get to a point where I, I could really just make them more like my art videos um, less looking at me and more just like looking at me uh, work on my, my comics uh, I think personally that would be more interesting if you if you agree uh, I almost burped um, do it uh, make a comment below <laughs> um, so yeah you know it's um, before I get to my Jim Shranko story I want to mention that you know a lot of times I I, I get the comment that um, not not a master of social media, but uh, I work it really good, and um, to a certain degree, I'm like, you know, I'm connected. That's for sure. Uh, you know, I'm doing all these different things. I'm doing the video and doing a podcast and blog and uh, posting art when I can, and I'm on Deviant Art and other sites and whatnot. Um, and it is you know it's like there's there's a million questions but like is is all doing all that and being on all the sites really as important as um the work itself you know there should be a balance and i think <laughs> you know i think uh my my social media is outweighs my my art at the moment um, you know, once, once I get a, a, a couple of books under my belt, um, and my web comics, you know, being posted weekly, then, then I'll feel more comfortable. Uh, right now it's like, I feel like I'm spending too much time, all the, you know, I'm, I'm spending too much time, uh, updating and tweaking and trying to improve my sites more than I am on the artwork and writing and whatnot. Um, but you know, it is, it is important and, and I'm not anywhere close to where I want to be as far as getting everything situated right. And a lot of that has to do with, I got to put up a website again and I got to put to work into creating one so <laughs> uh, there's all that but uh, so now I, I can go on about that alone for hours but you get the gist of it um, I'm trying to improve my my presentation um, online so that when I do have material I'll be able to present it <laughs> in in various spots uh, professionally uh, so I'm working on it and uh, yeah so my my Jim Stryker story was pretty cool um, years back uh, mid 90s I, I believe I believe uh, it might have been before I started working for DC, um, but I went to a, a convention. This is, I can tell you exactly what convention, um, although I forget what we called it, but it was after years ago, uh, New York Comic Con was at the Jacob Javits Center. And uh, it closed down. Was it? Am I thinking? I th I think that's right. Um, it closed down due to you know bad people trying to make money off of comic people um, and things not being so on the up and up. 
uh, I'll leave it at that without going into details, but uh, at least that's the rumors I heard. <laughs> um, anyway, it was in large part thanks to Bill Tucci and uh, I think some other people um, that they found a place to have a convention and it was in the basement of a church uh, in Upper Manhattan. Uh, 59th Street, I don't know, somewhere somewhere around there um, on the uh, west side and it it was as it was a decent sized space um, it was a little weird being in, in the basement of a church uh, but you know mostly they were they were cool with what we had going on down there because it wasn't all uh, g-rated that's for sure um, but you know it's it also wasn't what conventions at are nowadays you know a lot more uh, smut peddling <laughs> but um, you know there, were, there was like a main room and lots of little uh, side rooms and so I went to I went there I showed up um, uh, I think I had a space but I, I got there late for some reason and uh, ran into some friends before I even sat down, you know, to f find my table to sit down, and um, one of my friends said, pretty much off the bat, uh, that Jim Stranko was looking for me, and, you know, I'm just a huge Jim Stranko fan, he told me that, and I had to go find him, and as it turns out, he was in one of the side rooms, uh, pretty much you know, uh, had the, had the back wall to himself, uh, prominent spot, I went up to him, introduced myself, and it was awesome, uh, spoke to him for a while, you know, um, <laughs> he was just nicest guy, um, was, you know, curious what I was working on, he's like, you know, just uh, show me your work, and, and uh, I asked him what he was got going on, and, and what he was into, and uh, it was just like, you know, we were fr uh, friends, and, and um, I, I've seen him at conventions plenty of times after that, but... <laughs> You know, it's it's really like you, you meet your idols. Um, that's probably the only real time I talked to him. Um, I may have approached him other times and, and just said hello, kind of thing. But that was that was a, a real conversation we had at that point. Um, you know, sometimes sometimes I could just walk up to somebody and 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 just like casually like introduce myself and, and talk to them like nothing uh, a lot of times I'm like you know I, I love that person's work I, I, I've followed them for years uh, I don't even know what to say <laughs> um, so it's 50-50 you know I always a lot of times I revert to back to my former uh, kid self where I was pretty much a a quiet kid, and, uh, so, <laughs> but, you know, if anything, um, comics and art ha have made me a, a loud mouth, and, and, um, you know, I post things every day, I do my podcast, I'm doing the hangouts now, um, I'm talking to people on Skype, um, you know, talking to people in groups and, and so on and so forth, um, it's, it's a bond, a, a connection that, that I have with all these creators and writers and artists and, uh, that make it easier to, to start conversation. 
uh, and it's also the the community uh, of the comic industry or the art industry um, that has a lot of friendly people uh, that makes it easy so you know mostly you know uh, this was a, a homage to uh, <laughs> Jim Stranko um, you know that he, he's getting older but he, he's still out there um, doing his thing um, but I recommend you you know checking out his work if you never heard of him uh, I think most people have um, in the comic industry uh, but if you haven't then go uh, I'll, I'll find a link of maybe you know maybe he has a site he should have a site uh, but not everybody does but um, at least a wiki of, of him and his life because it, it's been a long interesting life he has had and, and different jobs and uh, but you know if, if anybody has been one of those guys that, that supports and, and um, independent creators and, and he's one um, so yeah that's that's uh, this <laughs> this has been a long one uh, surprise uh, okay well I hope you enjoyed it uh, again like comment subscribe if you haven't share with your friends um, and help me do my job <laughs> of spreading it across social media. Uh, and thank you. You know, I, I thank each and every one of you. Love you all. All right. I'll see you tomorrow. Day 40. Getting up there. All right. Bye.